在全球那么多双联展中，我们选择一个跟我们最靠近的亚洲地区来作为一个观察的对象。我们借由这样的一个艺术展演活动。让亚洲地区的艺术家可以聚集在一起，让彼此的信仰、宗教，然后还有社会价值，跟艺术创作的理念，可以在这里彼此的沟通、彼此的交流。今年二零一七亚洲艺术双年展，我们以“关键斡旋”这四个字作为题目，主要是因为有感于亚洲近年来发生的很多社会的运动或者是社会的事件，其实呈现出一种很躁动不安的氛围。那我们就是觉得说，斡旋这件事情，在我的想法里面，它可能是维持这个社会平衡的一个力量。我们主要是希望说，可以从这样的一个展题去诠释艺术怎么样。从由下而上的方式，渐进地去改变社会，然后形塑我们的未来。The theme is negotiating the future. The basic idea of this theme is the fact that the future is always decided by what we do today. At the present. There are myriads of negotiations going on all over the world. Even now, the results of those negotiations is going to decide our future. I think that the art can help people to think more creative or unconventional, and that's how the title came. 在未来的未来，这个主题出现，通过谈话中的每一个参与者，我们各自离开，带来一种看法，通过他们自己的眼光，关于这个主题上的讨论。我觉得，首先，这是一个反思，在思考当下现在所处的现状，在讨论当下的现状，在讨论当下的现状，在讨论当下的现状，在讨论当下的现状，在讨论当下的现状，在讨论当下的现状。Difficulties that are happening around the world, especially in relation to refugees and natural disasters, and so thinking about the role of artists and how their practice uh, often is a negotiation of some sort, either through working uh, working with or against systems or around systems to try to bring change, or finding ways to interrogate existing structures to make the voices of people who are often not heard. The idea of future is actually is, is not for everyone,、uh, especially nowadays. You know, because like not many contexts or not many、uh, situations is actually can really have a luxury to think about the future. But in the same time,、uh, when you you speculate the the now, when you speculate the the reality or the situation, the contemporary one is actually already sort of like negotiating the future in the same time. I was really interesting.、Uh, interest is actually how to put that in also in the act of thinking about the future,、uh, rather than only thinking about the now. So it's actually like a, a several relation that we can see from how we actually speculate about the practice、uh, in the contemporary society right now,、uh, which is coming from、uh, the lacking of certain things. And then it's, and it's actually produce a, a certain strategy to speculate, and then at the same time, it actually can see it's also about negotiating、uh, the future. That's why what I'm really thinking about the, the theme is actually how to connect the, negotiating the future with the speculation of of the now. Ah, この中これは美術館の中で。作ってたのとこの道は行動につながっててそれはこうパブリックなものとプライベートな空間っていうことがつながる瞬間でもあると私は思ってて今までこう作ってきた作品の中でもパブリックがプライベートな空間がパブリックになったりパブリックになったりしただからプライベートな空間がパブリックになるつながりがこの作品だと思ってます。今までは作った作品の中では例えば私の結婚の時のイベントであの東京の街をデモして歩いたりとかそれはこう
公共の行動の道なんだけれども結婚というプライベートなことをパブプライ結婚というプライベートなことはパブリックなことであると付き合ってることとはちょっと違う結婚ということは公になるっていうことがパブリックな道でパブリック公共の道で公共なことを発表するっていうふうにつながっていたと思うし今までで作った作品の中でも道でほとんどすごい道が出てこなかったものっていうのはあほとんど作品の中では結構道が出てきているかなっていうことに今回のこの作品を作ったことで改めて気づいたかなって。关键斡旋就是说，在协调啊、沟通嘛，有没有？而且现在在全世界那么多这个环境哈，就是有很多很多变化，都必须要经过协调沟通。那我那时候很，台湾民间就是兄弟要找你来谈判，就是说要谈的时候喝茶，你们要抵得有吧？哎，就是很简单的一个概念，我们就把它说，哎，喝茶，那就把它变成一个茶壶的风暴。因为每一个人在谈判过程当中都需要掌握到最多的利益嘛，所以应该是要很很理性、很平静的在讨论一件事情。所以我就营造一个泡茶的空间，大家可以在这边协商斡旋的时候，可以去抓到他自己最好的一个一个平衡点。Uh, Jetuang Art Factory is um, always uh, using art to contextualize our life in our uh, society. So uh, actually, uh, our work is always about negotiating our situation, negotiating our future in our context. Arts always take a big role. In our activities now, lots of uh, activities with people, with our neighbors, and something like that. It's it's not it's not for art itself. I mean, it's always about uh, our lives. We we want to expand that gesture. We want gesture to be more political. Actually, we expect from the meeting is the effect in our village because we want to this meeting is. Record in media or or publish in media in our local media. Oh, what a village who who the lands claimed by Air Force make business meeting in in Taiwan in the context of real business meeting, not as art artworks. We want to put that that kind of news as our negotiate authority in our our village. Uh, the project is called 168 Hours and One Second, which has to do with uh, imagining the future of Iraqi artists. Uh, the project was inspired by the destruction of the College of Fine Art Library in Baghdad, when more than 70,000 titles were burned to the ground in the invasion of 2003. Uh, the story uh, goes to back into the 13th century when the Mongolian uh, invaded uh, Iraq and Baghdad specifically and they gather all the books uh, in, in Baghdad including the very famed house of wisdom Dar al Hikmah and they took all the books and made the bridge uh, in the Tigris River to cross to the other side and the story goes for seven days uh, the books bled uh, ink turning the river to blue. And after these seven days and the books bled ink, uh, they, all the books drained out of knowledge. And I imagine that minute after the seven days when all the books turned into a white. And with this project, I wanted to start from that moment, that second forward. Um, so I conceive this as a participatory project where uh, we put the white books on display the participant come with their donation and through duration of the exhibition we're going to see these changes exchange between the participant and the library where uh, the participant take a white book in exchange they donate another book at the end of the show um, uh, all the books we collected here at the national taiwan art museum 
will be shipped to the College of Fine Art Library to, re, uh, to start the new library. The work is really interested in dichotomies uh, between reality and fiction, painting and cinema, and abstraction and documentary. So I explore the language of painting via these abstract paintings behind me, like blue and green paintings. But these blue and green paintings become chroma screens as well for the video. I think we live in this society now where more and more truth is getting abstracted, is getting simulated. So I'm interested in reality TV, notions of reality being fake or being constructed before we arrive to that future. We understand how the present is actually being constructed by the state, by the media, by institutions such as museums also. So I'm interested in deconstructing or playing with these different institutions and their languages to, to create some kind of um, understanding of the present. And then hopefully by understanding the present, in this case, how truth is getting more abstracted, we can understand the future better or try to resolve what could be done in the future. This nonsense factory project is um, based on the story, short story that I wrote. And then the story describes the, the actually, it seems like miniature society and it's like metaphor of the real society. So what you can see in the real society, you can find in the nonsense factory. And then in, in the nonsense factory, there are different rooms which is central image box control or welfare policy making room or coupon room or artist room and the factory basement and all these rooms represent a re uh, reality in, in different fields of society and this time in Taiwan they, re like they rebuilt this platform as a smaller scale for the, the specific the space and I think the relationship between this project and then the theme of the Biennale is uh, because this theme of Biennale is negotiation, negotiating the future. And that I heard before, actually, they were considering the title as critical negotiating the future. And then what I believe is uh, to know the direction for the future, we need to understand, know the reality we are in now. And in that sense, this project is actually to show absurdity of the life and reality of society we are in now. So for us to be understand now, and then we can rethink and try to change our direction for the future. So that can be the relationship between this project and then this Biennale.我觉得这些作品在国际贸易体系下
所以就是说我介入一个呃，同样是这个旅行的概念，香蕉它的旅行，那和现在就是和现在欧洲很大的移民的问题，他们也是经历了一场很大的旅行。那被迫离开他们的家，要到其他地方去寻找，呃，一个落地生根的地方。所以就是说，这个是现实层面的事事情。那去跟一个呃香蕉它的它的历史背景去做一个对照。所以就是说，它里面有一些故事，在五个章节里面，就是我作品的五艘船，然后它有分别有呈现五个章节，然后这样子做展开。The River Has Two Banks is an initiative we started a few years ago. Its aim was to think about uh, how to transgress the borders that have been imposed on Jordan and Palestine due to the Israeli uh, occupation um, of Palestine. Even though both Jordanians and Palestinians, and actually there are many Palestinian re refugees living in Jordan, the movement between the two countries is quite difficult. Jordanians don't have access to Palestine, and Palestinians have only Jordan as an exit into the rest of the world. So a lot of the things that we were doing were trying to break both limitation, historical limitations, but also physical realities that impose segregation on both peoples. And with our work in particular here, this is the first time we actually present the, the bulk of the work of the River Has Two Mags as an installation piece. Uh, the different components uh, come together in terms of referencing one of our um, walks that we did in Jordan um, in 2012, uh, where we tried to walk the outline of the River Jordan. And we realized even on the Jordanian side, uh, we don't have access to the river. And the river is actually the marker of the geography between Palestine and Jordan. This piece is actually from 2012, I was in Jinmen, a research center of Jinmen, to do a work of work. I wanted to use Jinmen, the kind of place of the place, to use this kind of thing, 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 呃，当地的经济物料所混合其他媒材做出来的一个工作法，关于帝国经济跟地方经济的相对应的一种关系。那所谓帝国经济，它指的是在冷战时期，就是美军、呃美国他们对于这个武器的一种协防性，串起了一个经济组织、一个经济能力。地方性的，我指的是金门当地的这个呃地方农作，关于高粱这件事情。它对于如何自给自足的这种条件而产生在金门的一种社会福利的一种一种关系里面，那所以我想要讨论其实是还蛮颇为复杂的一个面向，就是说除了经济的一种对照关系之外，也包括就是说不同世代间他们怎么去看待就是历史这件事情。Uh, this work is based on um, my own personal experience serving in the South Korean Army, where we have two years of mandatory military service because we are kind of in a semi-war state with North Korea. When I was in the military, I was somehow traumatized by the whole experience. And it took me a few years back to kind of look back and try to objectively look at what I went through. So I went back to the base to shoot the soldiers again. When I went back, everything looked different than what I remember from before, almost reversed. It was about six years of time difference. I was looking at from outside and uh, towards the inside, and I was very shocked how my own uh, emotional process was very distorted when I was inside. 
That was actually the basis for constructing this work. I wanted to show the emotional process of being in a collective and then also being outside of the collective. And I think this is very kind of a general, it's, it's a very general concept in Asian. We are a chance to go to Singapore. We found a special point. In Singapore, in that place, you can't go to the street, and throw trash, and eat a bowl of soup. Even if you can't go to the street, you can't go to the street. So we thought that we would go to Singapore to play this law. 那如果我们也在街头上涂鸦，但这涂鸦其实是你肉眼看不到的。那这样子我就没有破坏它的景观，但是我又达到了某种反体制的一种态度。对，所以我们就发起了一个呃隐形的方向这个计划。那这种跟机制对抗的过程中，我们觉得是一个呃非常有趣的。那也是我们开始思考说，我们要怎么在机制中用一个比较幽默的态度去对待它。啊，이작업은。끊임없이개발때문에과거도없고현재만있는그래서미래를상상할수없는그런상황에서의어떤뜨내기들에관련된작업이라고할수있습니다아시아모든나라들이끊임없이개발을하고있고계속그개발은계속이어지고있고개발은미래에도계속될거고그래서이제과거를돌아볼겨를이없고그래서미래를상상할수없는사실은그래서사람들은늘뜨내기가될수밖에없고정착하지못한인간이되는그지점에서우리들에게어떤것들이필요한지를묻는작업인데그래서저희는식물의시간에기대어야된다라는어떤주제를가지고작업을했고요그식물의시간에기댄다라는거는우리가만나야되는공동체우리가만나야되는미래에관련된그런질문들을이작업을통해서하고싶었습니다It's a body of work, and they have um, with different themes. Actually, it's not even containing one thing. Maybe the media is the same, and the, like the way I made it, the approach is very similar. They are coming from um, different um, concept. I was going through that time when I met them, and this one, this uh, wheelchairs. Um, it's actually mixed up with uh, different stories because I was watching uh, television. I was stuck by one shot, video shot there. That there's the hospital, lots of people are coming who were all like wounded, you know, and they were coming and going. And then I was just thinking because for a long time I was thinking about working in wheelchairs also because my mother was before he, she died in 1997, she used to sit on a wheelchair for four years. So that was stuck in my head for a long time. So both things happened at the same time. So it's like a mixture of you know, ideas um, that I applied for this. We often live in life, just growing up like this. Sometimes we think of things that are natural things. For example, the issues of education, or the social environment, or the family environment, or the 
就是跟爸妈、跟跟就是跟亲人的互动啊。我们我们其实生活就是这样过嘛。可是我觉得，我们所所经历到，不管是再怎么平凡的事情，可是这些事情其实都会跟其实其实都可以连出更大的一些就是议题这样子。我会觉得这件事情，它不是说呃我们应该怎么做的问题，而是我会觉得这些事情。我们我们都应该想想，想这些这些事情到底的成因是什么这样子。Um, to do sculpture garden、um, is a loosely based on a myth of to write people. In which they believe about the metamorphosis of the existence、um, after death, everything ended in the dew and then vaporizing into nothingness, and that is the new existence. So that we use that kind of、uh, myth framework to think of how all of the changes in the human society, in ecology, nature, agriculture, economics. Happening in Central Highlands, so that affect not only just the Chirai community, but also for us, the Viet people living with them over there. So I think that this kind of sculpture garden is、um, an opportunity for the public to learn about the forgotten carving culture, but it's also an occasion、um, for people to see that how visual art practitioners like Art Label. Can work together with the community, working with villagers to build up kind of the shared platform to showcase, for example, the sculptures together with art label murals here in one environment. This project. We collaborate with many people. It's like a teacher, a student. Basically, we research in about the alternative school in、uh, Indonesia, and we have we found the method this stop and down and blowing up. So we trying to make making the equal、uh, method with the education. Mm, so we try to connect the people to new interaction, new connection, sharing the knowledge and experience. I'm trying to figure it out. About my long、uh, project on,、uh, and research regarding my closets, like clothes and everything. So I collect all the tag that mostly came from different countries who produce this kind of、uh, fabrics and also like、uh, collections of my T-shirts. So in the sense, like it was giving me like gaining like a feedback because some of other countries actually have difficulties to find their own stories regarding、uh, productions. And also, like the fact that also they they struggling regarding the democracies、uh, within their countries, and also like how people also struggling regarding these economic productions, and also like、uh, coincidentally it was also partly like my collection in my closet. So it's it's, it's kind of like the whole things connected. So in the sense, it was kind of like a, the whole measurement of counting, counting strategies, counting the the mentalities, and also like the counting the histories、uh, that 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 connected to your background. I'm always using my own、uh, individual or identity to create the work. So the whole thing is like connected because the whole thing is like surrounding my daily life in a sense.